Hey you guys, it's Molly. Sneak peek of the pour I'll be doing tonight. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell. I'll see you in a second. Bye. Hey you guys, it's Molly. I'm doing another Arteza review, so I just wanted to show you the colors real quick. I'm gonna be doing a Dutch pour. So I have Mauve Pale, Ultramarine, Payne's Gray, Bordeaux, and Rose. These colors are literally amazing. They're right over here on the side. But just so you know, this color does not really correlate to exactly what the color is in the cup. It's always a little bit lighter and a little bit duller. So that's the actual color. It's beautiful in there. And I also show you guys at the end of the video how I mixed the paints together. And I have these little cups and what I don't use, I just put a little lid on it and I can save it. So, all right, I'm gonna go ahead, hope the lighting is okay for you. I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I'm using for my white base again, the Galleria Plus Extender. And I've mixed that just by itself with water. I'm using a 12 by 12 inch canvas. If you guys have any questions, just post them in the comments. I will answer. Okay, sorry guys, I had to change my camera angle because it's getting dark outside. The sun was there. I'm just popping air bubbles right now. Okay, so I will start with Payne's Gray. Whoops. I'll go with the bright pink next. Purple, the maroon, the bright blue through it. I don't watch too much of that bright blue because the other colors are so muted. A little bit of pink, and then more maroon on the side. Maybe a little bit more. Payne's Gray on that side. This Payne's Gray has a much grayer undertone than the one that I'm used to working with, but it's still very pretty. Okay. Pour the white around. Beautiful cells popping up already. Get those air bubbles out of the white. Let me see if you guys can see the cells. Woo! <laughs> you guys, I'm telling you, I almost drop my phone in the paint. Literally every time I, every time. Okay. You guys can't really see them that well, but there's some really beautiful cells that are going on. Also, the other thing that happened to me was that I was doing a painting and I totally forgot to zoom back out. So you guys could only see like the corner of my head the entire time. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna blow this back out on low. Yeah, there's tons of cells popping up in this. Let me just fix composition for a second. Yeah, I really like these Arteza paints. Not liking what's going on over here. Might just try to blow that part out right there. Just blow it off. I 
can blow that part back out. I'm really liking what's happening up here. Trying to get my composition, guys. I'm gonna pour some more white right there. This is what happens when you're doing art and you wanna do it right. You can redo this as much as you want. like this part a little bit better. There we go. I like it. It almost looks like a starburst came off the sides. If you guys want to see more of these, if you like these, you should check out the creator. Uh, Rinska Downa and Canela Sirocco has been doing a lot of these too. You guys hear me talk about them on my channel because they're super lovely artists. So I have got my codes below for the Arteza paints. I'll take you in, I'm much happier with the composition. I'm glad I kept blowing. So that's what it looks like now. There's like that little tiny piece of pink. There's lacing all throughout there that's beautiful. We've got some cells happening up there on that side. I really like that corner. Got some cells happening up there. Yeah, I'm really liking the composition a little bit better than, I'm glad I kept going. If you guys don't like it, keep going. So check out the links below for the Arteza paints. Um, I have some affiliate links that get you 10% off. Um, I'm gonna keep experimenting. I'm gonna keep painting. I hope you guys follow along with me. I'm loving everything that you're saying to me. If you want to see the end of this video, I show you how I mix those Arteza paints with Floetrol. Um, and that's it, guys. Little video, short little video today. I love that Windsor and Newton Galleria white, I'm telling you. Really cell reactive. All right, you guys, let me know what you think in the comments. I love everything you guys are telling me. I take it all to heart. And I will see you later. All right. Thanks for watching, you guys. Yeah. Be painting. Bye. Okay, you guys. So people were asking about how I mix the paints. So these are the Arteza paints. They come out very creamy. And I start... So each one I used about 20 mils of paint. And I'm putting about, to start, 30 mils of pouring, milliliters of pouring medium into each one. And then let me show you. So the paint comes in little tiny tubes like this if you're getting the 60 pack. But the whole thing is 22 mils. So actually I'm using about 11 mils in each one because I tried to use half. So, this is about two to one Floetrol to paint. I reuse all my sticks, so I try not to waste. But you literally just keep mixing and keep mixing until it becomes this kind of creamy consistency. And you just stir it up. So this was just paint and Floetrol with the Arteza paints. 
And if you're trying to get no cells whatsoever, I would put in gloss medium and varnish. It's what helps me not get any cells. There was a little clump there in the paint. Somebody had asked, how do I not get cells? And I'm gonna be doing an entire cell tutorial if you do want cells on how to get it, kind of like I did for my consistency tutorial. So it'll be probably about 20 or 30 minutes, but it'll be a good kind of learning experience. So you guys don't forget to hit the bell if you wanna hear about that one. That'll happen in about a week or so. So there we go, and there is the consistency I've got. So that is just a little bit thick. So your two options at this point are to add a little bit more Floetrol or to add a little bit of water. And for Dutch pour, I end up adding a little bit of water, adding more and more Floetrol, especially for these paints, makes them kind of dull and matte because the Floetrol itself dries matte. The other extender from Winsor Newton that I was using also dries matte. So anything that dries with that flat finish to it, I tend to use less of that and a little more water to get the consistency that I want. So if you guys can see that, those are just air bubbles in there. If you leave it for a while, the air bubbles will go away. So I'm gonna scrape your sides off. And that's how I mix the paints. That's all I do. And when I'm doing it with my pouring medium, that's the same thing that I do. So get some type of measurement, know how much paint you're putting in, know how much pouring medium to paint ratio, and that's how I mix my paints. All right, thanks guys.